Hello, my name is Chris Edwards. I'm the Deer Lodge Prevention Team Leader. And uh, our focus on this was engaging recreationists and summer, summer cabin users. Our executive summary is the local community leaders are concerned that increasingly dry conditions as well as high recreational use in the area are prone to wildfires and puts the summer homes at risk to human caused ignitions. 25% of the reported fire starts can be attributed to human caused fires on the Ashley National Forest and this was based on a 10 year average. The team was ordered to orchestrate a long-term strategy to reduce human-caused wildfires, risk to nearby structures, and initiate a campaign targeting recreation use ignitions. Our team members is, again, myself as Chris Edwards, the team leader, Jennifer McBride is our PIO, and Zach Mon is our technical specialist and finance and graphics designer. Our purpose was to minimize uh, risk to the Deer Lodge summer homes through an education campaign focused on recreation use and defensible space. Our overall objectives were to reduce the human caused ignitions, educate secondary homeowners on importance of hazardous fuel reduction, educate recreationists on fire causes and sources, and provide media information to increase understanding and coverage of wildfire prevention efforts. All right, my name is Jennifer McBride and I'm the PIO on the Deer Lodge Prevention Team. And I was in charge of creating the key messages here, so here we go. Our talking points, people start wildfires in many ways. The most common starts on the Ashley National Forest are from abandoned campfires and equipment use. Uh, forest recreationists need to be aware that they can easily cause wildfires by careless use of off-road vehicles and equipment. Um, most of the fires were started by off-road uh, vehicles, and so we were trying to address that. Residents can increase home survival during wildfire events by planning ahead, being firewise, and having defensible space around their homes. So, doing some stuff with the defensible space and the uh, secondary homeowner residents around there. Hazardous dead fuel loading due to disease and beetle kill have made prevention of human caused wildfire critical um, because there was a lot of lodge pole uh, dead fuel loading in that area. Um, accidental human caused starts resulted in more acreage burned in the national Ashley National Forest and uh, other sources of ignition. Um, the role here that we are trying to achieve through our prevention team coming on the site here was to develop media campaigns. Um, we're going to target the local recreationists uh, with radio ads, TV ads, local shows. There's a local show there that we can get on. Um, set up booths at local sporting goods stores um, because of the ATV starts. Um, figured that would be pretty good. Provide informational handout swag for local ATV dealers. Um, also develop signage for um, targeting for targeting the visitors and the secondary home owners because um, they're not going to get use out of our radio ads and stuff that they only come you know vacationing every once in a while. And engage local HOA develop materials for annual stakeholder meetings. For our target audiences. Local recreationists and visiting recreationists, uh, pretty much everyone that recreates on the forest there, uh, HOV and ATV users, dispersed camping, firewood collecting um, activities and lodging, and secondary homeowners were our target audiences. And Zach will tell us our action. So I'm Zach Mon, I'm the technical specialist on this project. Um, I'm going to go over the action plan and a few other things. So our action plan um, is pretty straightforward. We wanted to meet with um, local key stakeholders to begin with, um, get their ideas, their buy-in, um, identify what materials they've been using, what campaigns they've been using in the past, um, as well as any events that are going to be coming up in the area um, that we can really um, target, such as the hunting season and a biker rally that's coming up. Um, we also wanted to get out and do a uh, lot assessments and talk about defensible space with um, with the local seasonal homeowners. Um, 
And then additionally, we wanted to try to develop three to five um, public service announcements um, and uh, target TV, radio, newspaper with talking points, um, some information sources, and then um, branding. Um, and also provide a messaging timeline for the, for the area. Um, additionally, we wanted to try to develop a social media strategy um, that would focus on messaging and um, target audiences. Um, and then develop three signs or infographic um, concepts that could be used um, in addition to um, putting them out in the community through signs, but they could also be used um, to develop some handouts and swag that could go in the local shops. Um, so some of the key contacts that we identified was the Ashley Forest FMO, um, the county fire warden, um, the HOA president in the area, um, Stata TV network, um, the Vernal Express newspaper, um, some of the local um, radio stations, um, and then some printing resources in the area, uh, in, in addition to the county commissioners who can help us out with some on the ground stuff. Um, some of our partners, uh, we wanted to partner with the National Forest, the Ashley National Forest, um, DNR, Forest Department of State Lands, and um, uh, Wildlife if they're interested. Um, BIA, um, BLM, the Deer Lodge HOA, um, and then Basin Sports and other um, local um, commercial entities. Um, to evaluate our program, we thought we should have an action metric. So this would be uh, tied to the 25% of fires being human caused. Um, additionally, we'd like to have a social media tracking um, component that kind of tracks more long-term as well has more up-to-date um, statistics. And then we also thought it would be important to have a team metric, so an AAR with local stakeholders, as well as a post-season follow-up to kind of see after the season how effective some of these things were. Um, we took into consideration our budget from the beginning on this. It's one of our first tasks. And just, uh, we looked at, you know, some numbers for about three days, as well as some campaign figures. And we figured this would be the cost for about three days of work in addition to the campaigns being rolled out. So uh, $9,715 was our overall total. And that's it, um, that's what we have. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed my team and I'd like to give thanks to the two people that helped make this possible. Thanks again.